Hey, it's Chris Wicks here. I'm going to go over another review right now. Um, what I'm going to go over is some vape mail. Uh, I got some vape mail from Timeless Vapor. Already cut the lid off of it. I uh, wanted to go over a couple things because, um, you know, I just got to get it off my chest of my experience. And that's what it is. It's all about the vaping experience, um, how you interact with companies, and the taste of the juice. So I won a $20 gift certificate to Timeless Vapor. Cool, spotless, applied it to my account. Everything is swimmingly. I hop up on their account and take a look at their flavors. And so I'm looking pretty much if I'm looking at, and I'm looking at it now, I'm looking at a 30 mil bottle comes out to be like 13 bucks or whatever. So I was trying to figure out how to add this to the account. Now, uh, they only have 0, 6, 8, 12. They didn't have 3 milligrams. So companies, if you're out there, pick up 3 milligram juices or let us choose 3 milligram. I mean, those are those people that are going down in tobacco. Just, you know, we want that option. So you got to be a little bit more flexible as far as it goes. When you break down your flavors into different varieties, it makes it harder to choose of what I want to get at. So if I don't have no idea about, and this isn't just Timeler Vapor, I don't mean to be picking on you, Timeless, but um, companies out there, you got to list your flavors as far as your all your flavors are available too. You can't just list your, because I don't know what you consider a fruit or what you consider a bakery or candy, and I might miss out on some great flavors. So, okay, I came down and I selected the flavor I want. Boom, that looks good. So I was trying to check out. Now the cost of the juice, no matter how I put in the code, didn't roll out to include the shipping in my 20 bucks. And I thought that was a bummer. All right, so I'm on their website and trying to figure out, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. Is there a problem? And they're like, well, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, I've never won a juice before and had to pay for shipping. That's just how it is. I do reviews. You know, I'm not used to paying for shipping for a product um i guess that's just how it goes with me when i win something now if i was to buy it outright okay i understand the shipping costs that's whole cool and cool and done all i wanted was just a 30 mil with shipping included i had 20 bucks no ain't gonna happen so then they're like well you got the option to get two bottles and customers usually pay so i had no idea what was going on i went on the website boom two bottle deal but it's a drop down you don't just add the two bottle cart now this is my experience your experience may vary so i'll get to the vape mail i promise so story time so i'm online i'm checking it out okay ba -ba -da, boom two bottle <coughs> <coughs> wow I'm talking a lot. Hold on. All right. So I finally got my two bottles in the cart. No matter how I put the code, put another code, knocks out my other code. I just want a 30 mil bottle. No strings attached. Boom. So, okay. Cool. I'll pay the extra three bucks and pay the shipping. So I'm paying like six and a half bucks for 60 mil bottles. In real life, I think I pay six and a half bucks for 60 mils. So I'm like, that's cool. I'll do that. No problem. Now they got a drop down selection for the juices. The drop down selection for the juices didn't match to any of the juices I wanted to try. Fudge. Okay. I'll just get strawberries and cream because you don't have the two flavors that I wanted in your drop down. So far, I put way much more energy into this than I actually wanted. I just want a 30 mil bottle. Send it to me. Here's the flavor I want. Send it. So now I feel like a douche trying to ask this dude on, on his Facebook, what's going on, Timeless? How do I use your product? How do I use the code? I just want this. This is what I want. I'm not used to paying. So I go out. I get a gift card at, like, Ralph's or whatever for, like, 10 bucks on the card to go, okay, finally I get the juice. I get the juice. And what do I pick? I picked two bottles of the same juice because I was fed up. I wanted, you know, I'm fed up. I'm paying seven bucks. I know it sounds petty. I'm so sorry to be petty about it, but I'm trying to get info from your company. Your website's like everybody else. There's no, there's no one whole list of all your juices and what they taste like. It's, I have this and that and the other. And so I had to go into each folder again my experience you may not even think twice about it timeless vapor here we go 
custom made e-cigarette electronic juices so so yeah a packing slip whatever two bottles of juices and I got the strawberry cheesecake in six milligram that's what I got so boom and boom check out these bottles you know awesome bottles good labels standard uh, standard bottling labels Strawberry cheesecake, timeless vapor, it's a little pen marfare, six milligram, even though it's right by the eight milligrams, so it looks like I had eight. So I thought I got eight first. Really just let my eyes figure out what's going on. One fluid ounce is 30 mils. So one fluid ounce, 30 mils. Did not know that. All right, so two of the same juices. I'm going to throw it on the K100. So far, I'm kind of irked at the experience. Didn't have a good one. Your results may vary, but... Again, you know, you're choosing companies, you're trying to be picky about the juice, you don't know what you're going for, you're trying to ask questions, you're not getting the right answer, and you're paying out of pocket for something you didn't want to pay out of pocket, and I couldn't just, I should have just dropped it. I should have just maybe, hey, somebody else used the $20 gift certificate, it's not worth me trying to figure out over. So I'm going to try some Timeless Vapor. And try out the strawberry cheesecake. Now, cheesecake can always tend to have like a flavor that's not considerable desired because of the pungent, pungent, pungent nature of the cheesecake. Um, every last drop, man. Um, <laughs> so cheesecake can get a little overwhelming. So like a strawberry usually blends it nice, so it gives that creamy consistency of a cheesecake, which can really throw people off with the flavor. Let's get that out of my way. All right. That's my experience. It wouldn't be a vape video if I didn't knock my stuff over. Um, that's my experience so far. So now on to the juice. Strawberry cheesecake. Okay, I'm getting a nice, uh, a nice whiff of strawberry. So just a little odor out of the bottle. I'm getting the strawberry smell. So that's good. That's good. Now, it's kind of tasting like a, like a Jolly Rancher almost. But then there's a bite at the end, like a, <coughs> it's a warming sensation, but there's a bite to it, like a piece of pepper. Again, my, my experience, I, I don't know why I'm having this experience, I just am. Uh, it smells like ripe strawberries. I'm not getting much of the cheesecake smell or the taste at all, which, which is fine. Um, K100 it. This is at 1.5, 1.5 ohms on this single coil. I'm not sure if that's important to you, but I'll tell you anyways. Throw out the safety lock. I think I'm going to need to do a little futzing with this new cotton here. A really sweet smell. Uh, in fact, sorry to interrupt my video. I'm going to change out my battery. It's only smart enough to do that. Let's see what batteries you got in here. Change out my battery. Now, some people wouldn't vape with electrical tape on their battery. That's up to you. For me, I have no problem doing that if I could save a battery. Those Nightcore battery chargers tend to strip the bottom, so when you're putting it in and taking out your batteries, be careful with those Nightcore. They'll strip uh, the bottom of your batteries out. And the K100s put a nice dent in your batteries. All your batteries will have a K100 dent. So K100 users, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if this is a better battery. A little bit better battery. Okay, so I'm getting a strawberry smell, but it's a real sweet smell. Real sweet smell. And for a ch strawberry cheesecake, that's normal. Ah, but does it vape good? This is the true test, right? Vaping.
All right, I'm, I'm not getting strawberry or cheesecake. It's kind of like a, what is the taste of that? What is the taste of that? That's kind of a odd smell. I don't know if it's a graham cracker or a pie crust. It's almost like a cookie dough. Now I am getting hints of strawberry, but it's um, it's more of like a like a dried out um, powdery type of strawberry than a rich uh, full ripe strawberry. I'm just not getting a full strawberry. Strawberry cheesecake is usually the swirl on the top, and the main flavor is that cheesecake. And it's a really grippy, grippy taste. That cheesecake, almost like a like a moldy cheese, not moldy cheese, like a you've had cheesecake before, right? It's that uh, that fudge. I can't even explain out what it what a cheesecake tastes like. But I'm not tasting cheesecake. It's kind of a strange flavor to me because I'm not tasting cheesecake or strawberry. And it just sums up my whole timeless vapor experience to where, like, it's not what I thought it was. See? It's almost like a... Uh, like a spoiled apple taste? Like a... Like an overripe apple, like a red apple, if you just let it ripen and starts turning that brown. Again, this is my taste buds. Nothing to do with you and yours. I mean, it vapes decent, and it's got a smooth consistency to it, like a cream. But it's more of a cookie dough cream with uh, like a, not a strawberry powder, but when you first draw it in, you're getting that little bit of strawberry flavor on it, which is fine because that's how it would be if you take a bite of strawberry cheesecake. Again, it's just the swirl on the top, people, not like cheesecake with strawberry beat into it. Now it's a decent vape, but I'm getting a little bit of a chemical taste to it that it's just throwing me off a bit. And it's just not balancing right for me. Um, I've had other strawberry cheesecakes before that were decent and that I liked. And unfortunately, I'm just not hitting home with this. Um, two bottles of it. Am I going to vape it? Yeah, I vape everything. I mean, I'm just thankful to have juice. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not smoking analogs, you know? So there is a positive side to it to where I didn't spend that much money on it. Um, if I spent full price, I would have been pretty disappointed. Um, just from my experience of not having the flavors that I want in the drop down, in the deal, um, I was misled about the $20 gift certificate and what it could apply for. Never had not a company allow me to apply a gift certificate towards the shipping so it feels like I just paid like six and a half bucks for the bottles which would have been pretty much market value like 350 of a bottle of 30 mil uh, as far as like distribution prices and whatnot goes and making things but what do I know I'm just some guy who vapes some stuff in his garage and um, just my experience so timeless vapors sorry you didn't do it for me guys um better luck next time maybe this is chris wicks i'm gonna let it steep maybe it'll be better maybe somebody else will like it there's always piffing you know if i don't like it somebody else will and that's awesome but my experience is mine only so uh sorry to be so harsh but i gotta i gotta be true to myself you guys I got to give you the honest deal of what I think about juice, and that's my experience. It's Chris Wicks. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.
That's not even a good, good vapor to leave on. Much better. 